Hi guys and welcome to Paul's DIY and as usual we're going to jump straight in and here I'm just starting off putting the gluing the pebbles onto the plastic bottle and one thing I need to point out straight away with this little project build of mine is if you're going to attempt this you need to have a lot of patience because it can get monotonous, it's very methodical I'm using a, a very strong uh, contact adhesive called high tap and I'm basically pasting a little bit onto each pebble and gluing it on in succession all the way around moving from the bottom upwards. Okay, so as you can see I've gone all the way around with the pebbles and now I am creating the doorway for where I'm going to be doing the uh, wooden slats for the door and the door frame. So eventually after a lot of gluing pebbles into different places on the bottle, making sure that all the gaps are covered, I eventually reach the top of the bottle. Now you're not going to cover every single gap, you can see there that you can see gaps between the pebbles. The way I got around this is I just went in with a fine tip brush and went in with some black acrylic paint and painted in the gaps black so that it hide the, the gaps and it creates more like a, a shadow like there's it makes it look like there's more pebbles underneath so here you can see that I've created a window I'm going to be do putting a wooden slats in the window in hindsight i wish i've made uh, created more windows i only did the one with the door i wish i'd done two or three different windows uh, but i will be putting in uh, perspex or clear plastic uh, to make it look like this glass in the window as well as uh, a window frame okay as you can see that's the bottle now fully covered with the black pebbles I've got my doorway cut out as well as my window and now I'm going to move on to the roof. Ok guys this is some inner core from a 2.5 twin nerve cable, it's the same cable I used for the lining of the Batman Noel cape. Uh, the only difference is I took the brown sleeving off the inner core for the 
caper and kept on for this. And what I've done is bent it into a circle and then put some triangle uprights. And I've got a few more to do just to close up these gaps. And then I'll get some tape and I'll tape the top together. And then that just sits on the top there like so. And then I'll attach the rest of the roof. Okay, I've gone ahead and prepped the roof with some brown tape. I've gone around it with uh, just normal packaging uh, brown tape. I'm going to be gluing the wooden slats all straight onto that using Gorilla Glue. But before that, I'm going to be doing the door and the window frame. And for the window frame, I'm using uh, normal lollipop sticks or craft sticks that you can get from your local hobby store. And I've cut it out and measured it, and then I'm just hot gluing it into place. And here you can see that the window frame and the door is now glued in place again using hot glue and using the craft sticks I've created the frame and the door and the window frame so you might be able to see if you go back in the video you'll notice that the pebbles have changed slightly I've taken some off and rearranged them so that the pebbles fit snug up against the window frame and the door frame also created a sort of ledge outside of the window frame. Okay we're going to move on to the roof now, the last bit of the build and the way I did this is I went back to my hobby shop and I got some wider uh, craft sticks or you could possibly t call them tongue depressors. I bought about five or six hundred of these, they come in a pack of a hundred and the way I got the effect for the roof is I cut the rounded edges off and I cut them into a teardrop shape and as you can see it took quite a while uh, my fingers were really hurting by the end of it but uh, it took a lot of preparation and actually ran out halfway through had to go back and buy some more uh, but once I would cut them all out into the teardrop shapes I went ahead and used some Gorilla Glue which as you can see is waterproof and weatherproof and it was just a matter of again pretty much similar to the pebbles pasting some Gorilla Glue this time onto the back of the teardrop um, craft sticks and gluing them into place so they overlapped So the very last step was to give it a paint and I've done this using Ron Seal White Ash Garden Paint which is for garden furniture, painted the roof, the door and the door frame, ready for the final reveal. <laughs> 